today is a Sunday, more specifically, Sunday morning. And what am I doing today? The same shit I did yesterday. What did I do yesterday? The same shit I've been doing. It's a normal day. And weekends aren't real. But you people, tomorrow, you're in school. You're in your 9 to 5. So today, Sunday is classed. That's a day off, right? But what are you actually gonna be doing today? You're not gonna have a day off. You're gonna spend the whole day today thinking about tomorrow. The fact that you have to go in. You're gonna be dreading it. Use that as motivation. Get the fuck out. But either way, as you can tell, this is a playlist, right? This is number three. So if you're new, or if you haven't watched the other three parts, you need to watch them first, right? In the TV show, you won't go and watch a random episode. You'd go back to the start. So if you're in that group, I want you to scroll down a little bit. At the top of the description should be a link. There should be a link. Well, there will be, yeah. To the start of the playlist. I want you to watch that. But either way, if I was to define peace, it would be something like this. Walking back home from the gym when it's dark. Ambient music in your little airpods, right? Noise cancellation on, maybe some light rain. It's a nice moment. But isn't it funny? This is the moment that we cherish the most. As these grinders, right? When there's no outside noise, there's no work to do, and you got ambient music in your ears. At that moment, there's nothing to think about. Or in other words, you're experiencing this thing called enlightenment. The feeling we get when it just feels like nothing exists. It's just us. And no thoughts. No outside thoughts. Imagine life without these moments. So the next time that you're walking home from the gym, you have no thoughts. Just realize that and be grateful for that moment. But of course, as we know, the grind is essential. This is the foundation for everything. I was so locked in and I'm still so locked in. But when I was creating a silent wealth mastery, my course from back in the day, I would go to sleep. I would go to sleep around 6 a.m. and wake up around 4 p.m. And at this point, it was already dark, the middle of winter. My whole life was spent in this dark, grind state. And I loved it. I felt like I was fucking a superhero, bro. I felt like I was Batman, saving the city at night, even though I was just fucking working and going gym. But it was always dark. There was no noise. And this one picture, this just resembles what my life actually looked like. If I was to show you a picture to just say 1,000 words about the life that I was living, it would be this. I was in this grind mode, my morning routine. Which, by the way, in the silent network, join that right now. After the morning routine, I'd work for a couple hours. That's when I'd eat my first meal. Then I'd have a little rest break. My little rest break was a gym session, right? While I was commuting to the gym, podcast on. Constantly thinking, how do I improve this fucking business? How do I get more people? How do I make more money? Then I'd get to the gym. Two-hour workout. Go buy food for tomorrow. Go back home. On the way home, listen to another podcast. Write some tweets. Write some tweets to get a new audience. And go work some more. Sleep. Repeat. Productive as fuck. Similar to my routine right now. About three weeks in. I loved it. Right? I felt so productive, so masculine, with just one thing to focus on, leveling up my digital character. Because all I am to you right now, I'm just a digital character. I'm just a personal brand. I was just focusing on leveling up my digital character. But one day, there was a time where I woke up a little bit early, around 3 p.m. It was starting to get dark. I opened my back door. This is the exact picture. It may seem like nothing much, but this picture, this means a lot. It's when I started to think, bro, you know what? I kind of miss the sunlight. I kind of actually miss the peaceful walks after the gym. Not with a podcast on, writing notes, but I just missed having no thoughts, which was very unusual for me. I was a big fucking grinder. And at that point, I was loving the life I was living. The dark grind state, I was loving it. But my body was craving for some type of rest, some type of break, some sunlight, some rest. But fuck it, bro, I brushed it off. Fuck your feelings, discipline yourself. That was my mindset. And it still is, right? That's what it should be for 99% of the time. But when I said that to myself, I realized it. And this was a turning point. I was just like my old child self, once again, distracting myself from reality. But this time, not with video games, but with work, to the point where I could not have a present combo with my mother. My mind 24 7 would just be thinking about business. I wouldn't even say thank you, because that wasn't in my mind. And I just imagined it from her point of view. She's talking to me. I'm trying to act present. I'm trying to act like I'm there. I'm not on my phone. I was in an even worse distraction. I was in my own mind, just trying to be present. Even though I've been meditating for a long time, my mind just kept on thinking about business. Just imagine it from her point of view. 24-7, can't even have a present combo. Just in my mind. It's fucked, right, from her point of view. This was quite a while back. What made this change for me fully? I was listening to a course with a detox coach. He was talking about the optimal life. And when he, ha- when he said these things that I'm going to teach you, this flashed me back to a quote from the wave of superior man. 99% of life is a test. Right, we know that. 99% of your life is a grind. It's a grind, right? 1% is a celebration. And without that celebration, you will be unfulfilled. But why? Without that 1% celebration, Whatever it is, one night in the shisha lounge with your boys, just as a little celebration. You just hit 10k a month. You don't go buy a watch to celebrate. You go straight on to, oh, I need to make 20k. And you went from zero to 10k, right? That was the test part. But if you don't celebrate it, even with something small, your brain's gonna think we haven't completed it because there's no celebration. Your hunter gatherers, tribes, they hunted the lion. That was the test. Then some of them smoked weed and ate it. Just to experience that 1% celebration. Cooking a meal takes an hour. Eating a meal takes 10 minutes. There's a reason for all this. So in a way, celebrating for 1% actually makes you work better. After grinding for 4 weeks a month, it's getting kind of stale. Keeps on repeating and repeating the same shit, right? The grind. You have one night out, 
The next day, it's like a factory reset. It's like, I'm so glad I had that night out. Because when I have a night out with my boys or something like that, I do get thoughts of shit I should be grinding right now. I get flashes on my goals. But the next day, when I come back home, I'm going to be more grateful that I'm on this grind. I'm going to be grateful that I get the opportunity to reach goals. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope you understand. But let's explain this in practical terms. This is the art detoxing your center of consciousness. In other words, detoxing your mind. This is a small module from courses in the silent network. This changed my life, right? Let me just explain it. You wake up, you start with 100 brain points, right? You're refreshed. Sleep is just a reset, right? You have no thoughts in your brain, right? You have no thoughts in your brain in the morning. Then you check your phone. Your brain subconsciously starts thinking, oh shit, I should reply to that. Oh shit, I got an email. Oh shit, I got a message from this guy or this girl. Minus 20 brain points. You reply to the messages, right? You're thinking, what do I send them as a snap? If you still use snap and you're a faggot. Or what do I message him? Minus 25 brain points. Then you eat a meal. You have to digest. Because your subconscious mind is what controls what your body does. It controls how you grow hair. It controls your digestion. Why do you think your body knows to breathe? Because your subconscious mind. It's just telling you to breathe. Right now I told you that. Now you're manually breathing, right? Like you've just smoked five zoots and got transferred over from your subconscious to your conscious. That's not even thinking about it. Let's just take a deep breath, bro. Alright, good shit. You drink tap water, brain fog now. Minus 20 brain points. Now you have five brain points to put inside business work. Because your energy has been sapped away. You're thinking about too much things. Your subconscious mind is thinking about too much things. It's thinking about, oh shit, I just replied to him. I wonder what he's going to say to that. And you actually realize it sometimes, how your subconscious mind thinks. Right, it's always thinking. So that means when you're working, your subconscious mind is not going to be focused on the work. It's going to be focused on the other things. Because there's other things happening. Well, while you're grinding on your important business, your brain's thinking about all this shit. And I say important very lightly. Because if you let a small device with pixels, you let that distract you from retiring your mother who's slaving away right now you don't want this shit you don't want it as bad as you think you're a fucking pussy your own mother has more discipline than you and you think she's so below you just because she doesn't know about online business she doesn't believe you rightfully if she sees you have no discipline why would she believe you whenever she walks into your room she sees a little fucking retard slouch over forward neck posture watching some dumb shit you're watching mr beast fucking sidemen beta squad whatever the fuck you watch right while she's working 40 hour weeks coming back home every single day sleeping because she's fucking sleep deprived i'm taking care of you she makes you food she's doing all that while you're doing absolutely nothing you're letting pixels get you away from the main mission be ashamed of yourself she doesn't your mother doesn't say this but she wants her son to retire but every time she comes into your room she loses hope every single time it's a sad reality but bro either way i just want you to know why am i saying all this why am i disrespecting you because bro i was in your position imagine that i didn't care about you what would i say all right it's okay have some moderation it's okay just play some video games i'm watching you climb this mountain it's a fire beneath you you're climbing and climbing i'm not gonna tell you to stop climbing i'm not gonna tell you get a controller out play some video games that's retarded the fire is gonna catch up to you and if you died in that fire you went to a nine to five or whatever there would be less people for me to compete with so naturally i'd want that but i was in your position i didn't know what it feels like and i would not wish that upon my worst enemy and you're not my worst enemy bro you're in my tribe and i want to help you others don't want to help you they want to put you down they're scared of you climbing up taking more stairs but i know you can't take what's mine because i put the fucking work in there's enough bread to share for everyone they're printing it so i want you to listen you know you just heard me talking about brain points and this is the reason why you should do work in the morning also but here's what's interesting i'm not a trader Right, but I know a lot of you are traders, so I'm going to use this as an example. You don't need to be a trader to understand this, so don't click off. Each dip that you see in this chart, each thing you try to analyze, each pattern you try to recognize, that's all taking a small amount of energy out of your brain, out of your subconscious. Each word that I speak to you, you're listening to it, and that's all using a tiny little bit of energy. Because your subconscious mind has to think, what does this word mean? How can I use it in my life? And it applies it. Right, for example, I'm doing this social media business. Right? I get comments, I get likes, I get messages. And even if they're positive, they still take some energy. Because now your brain's thinking about it subconsciously. Do I like his comment? What do I reply? Do I respond to this message now or later? These are brain points being set away. Everything relies on brain power. Your business relies on brain points. We have 61,256 door today. Right, I searched that up. The guy winning puts 99% into his work. Right, let's dig deeper in this. And I gotta warn you, the stuff I'm about to say is like weird in a way. But I hope you understand this. Go into a state of open-mindedness for this because that's how you're gonna learn. And there are two energies. This is the first one. The energy of leveling up. Discipline, stoicism. You get this, right? This should be 99% of your life. Two is the healing slash rest energy. As you know, I was talking about brain points. Everything relies on brain power. But how do we replenish those brain points? We use them in this grind energy, but we replenish them in the rest energy. As I said before, when you take a day off from work, you always come back with better ideas, with better work, more motivation to work. And this is not an excuse to take time off right now. Because 99% of your time should be grinding. Don't get that wrong. I'm going to tell you an exact system, which you will follow. For optimal performance you might think i've gone crazy right i think about it every single billionaire had kids in his 20s not every single billionaire but a lot of them he had kids very early in life i think sam oven said this he works 12 hour days 
with deep work. I'm resting with his time, he spends with his kids. I'm not sure if this was some of it might have been someone else, but it's like a multi-millionaire billionaire. And they said, the reason they had kids, it's not because of joy. It's not because they wanted to have kids, but it's because it would make them get more money. It would progress them in this game of life. So in a weird way, the rest is productive. That's weird, right? And now I'm not telling you to have kids. Of course not. But let me tell you what to do. I just want you to remember this point. Grind energy is the thing that takes away energy. Healing is what gives you energy put inside the grind. So you need both. There is no yin without yang. Without trading in the gym, there's nothing to recover from. Without recovery, you would just injure yourself. You wouldn't even build any muscle. Same applies to every part of life. So here's what I want you to do. This is going to be an actionable step. I want you to write this down, or I just want you to note it down in your brain. Take a mental note. Structure your grind. For three whole weeks, you're not gonna have a day off. You're not gonna have a second off. Pure routine. Masculine energy. No watching bullshit. No going on your phone. Nothing like that. This is the time period. You use the energy that you have. And for a couple days, I don't really advise one week. That's too long. Maybe for one day. Two days, three days. Personally, to be honest, I do one day. I do one day a month. For one day, go out with your boys. Go on a holiday for a couple days. Go into the main city center. Just get an Airbnb. Walk around town. Replenish that energy. Whatever you feel that replenishes your energy. Different for everyone, right? I prefer to be more quiet. I don't like a party setting. I don't like parties. I don't fuck with that. But what I will do, I'll go to the shisha lounge for one day with one of my boys or two. Get on FIFA, smoke and talk. Then the next day, I've got new fucking ideas. I'm gonna be refreshed. I'm gonna get back on the grind. I'll just factory reset to my brain. Now it's a month of grind again. I told you, 99% of your time should be grinding. 1% is a celebration. So I want you to do this. Just think to yourself. How are you gonna structure your grind? For one day a month, two days a month, three days a month. I think at the start, you should just have one day a month. Because you need this shit to get off the ground. You need 12 hour days, 10 hour days. It's one day a month you have a break. Work like Mr. Beast, bro. He works until he has a mental breakdown. Then he takes one day off and he gets back to it. So is there any surprise that you got the success that he has? Work like him, bro. But this is very important. You probably thought of something to do. And it's very important that you don't fall into it. In part zero of this playlist, where you fall back into the bad habits. Make sure you don't do that. Because it's easy, right? But I just need you to remember, you're gonna have to get back to the grind sooner or later. And it's way better to do it sooner. Because each day that you're delaying the grind is a day where you made a broken promise. Which is a day where you're declining and you're not improving. And that's the summary. One day a month, two days a month, you replenish the energy. But the rest of the month, you're in fucking grind mode. No distractions. No outside noise. You got that, bro. And don't fall back. Don't fall back into the bad habits. That's what kills a man. It's comfort. But either way, bro, I just want to tell you, you watch this all the way through. 1% of people that looked at this video watched this all the way through. I'm proud of you. You have a sick attention span compared to everyone else. They're on TikTok scrolling like little pussies. You're different. You're meant for success. You are optimizing your brain for success. Imagine that. You just watched the video on how rest is essential. That's our fucking problem. We grind so much that our problem is not getting enough rest. Imagine you told that to a normal person. They'd think you're fucking crazy, right? Toxic masculinity, the little fucking faggots. I'm proud of you, bro. And you're gonna get what you want in life. There's no doubt about it. Well, bro, either way, tomorrow 5 p.m., I'm gonna release the summary to this playlist. It's character rebirth, right? I'm gonna make it quick, feature all the actionable steps, feature the main points, so whenever you feel like you're lacking, you can watch that. Very time efficient. So if you're new, I need you to subscribe and watch that tomorrow. As every single day, I'm posting at 5 p.m., and there's no broken promises on this channel from me never any broken promises and i promise you that but in the meantime join the busy center that's the discord you get my work playlist in there i'm pretty active ask me a question in there probably get it answered join 550 members in the data center this is crazy right there's four full guides in there which take me weeks to make you get it for free and every single day i'll send you an email of something actionable to do in your life if you want that go subscribe for free and lastly but definitely not least today is the last day of this price being 50 cents a day the price is gonna th the price is gonna 3x so you better get on this if you want to know more it's in the description but either way bro i'm gonna see you tomorrow at 5 p.m are you gonna join me or are you gonna stay complacent right but for now bro take care of yourself